64ATREATISEONCOSMICFIRE. Mind, showing his lower power, and animating the thinker on all planes. The object of their cooperation is the perfected manifestation of the Cosmic Lord of Love. This should be pondered upon for it reveals a mystery. The blending of the three fires, the merging of the three rays, and the cooperation of the three Logoi. Have in view, at this time and within this solar system, the development of the essence of the Cosmic Lord of Love, the second person in the Logoic Trinity. Earlier it was not so, later it will not be, but now it is. When viewed from the cosmic mental plane these three constitute the personality of the Logos, and are seen functioning as one. Hence the secret well recognized as fact, though not understood, of the excessive heat, occultly expressed, of the astral or central body of the triple personality. It animates and controls the physical body, and its desires hold sway in the majority of cases, it demonstrates in time and space the correspondence of the temporary union of spirit and matter, the fires of cosmic love and the fires of matter blended. A similar analogy is found in the heat apparent in this second solar system. D. The, the atom. The inner fires of the atom can likewise be seen functioning along similar lines, their demonstration being already somewhat recognized by science. This being so there exists no necessity for further. Elaboration point 21. 21 inches it should be remembered that the mere scale does not matter, for greatness and smallness are essentially relative. The destiny of each atom is to create a Brahmanda. Brahmandas like or smaller or larger than ours, held together by a sun, are present in every atom. Vishvas, great world systems, exist in an atom, and atoms again exist in these Vishvas. This is the significance of, many from one, wherever we see the one we should recognize. The many also, and conversely. After securing the ability of and then actually, creating a Brahmanda, the next step is the creation of a Jagat, then a Vishva, then a Mahavishva and so on, till the status of Mahavishnu is reached. Bhagavan Das in the Pranavavada, P. 94. T-H-E-I-N-T-E-R-N-A-L-F-I-R-E-S. 65. 2. Fire Elementals and Devas We might now briefly consider the subject of the Fire Elementals and Devas, and then deal with the relation of the personality ray to this internal fire of the system in its threefold manifestation. Certain facts are known in connection with the fire spirits, if so they may be termed. The fundamental fact that should here be emphasized is that Agni, the Lord of Fire, rules over all the fire elementals and devas on the three planes of human evolution, the physical, the astral, and the mental, and rules over them not only on this planet, called the Earth, but on the three planes in all parts of the system. He is one of the seven brothers, to use an expression familiar to students of the secret doctrine, who each embody one of the seven principles, or who are in themselves the seven centers in the body of the cosmic lord of fire, called by H. P. P. Fohat. He is that active fiery intelligence, who is the basis of the internal fires of the solar system. On each plane one of these brothers holds sway, and the three elder brothers, for always the three will be seen, and later the seven, who eventually merge into the primary three rule on the first, 
third and the fifth planes are on the plane of Adi, of Adma 22 and of Manas. It is urgent that we here remember that they are fire view. 22 Adma means as you all know the self or the ego or an individualized center of consciousness around which all worldly experiences in their dual aspect of subjective and objective cluster and arrange themselves. It is as it were one of the foci from which emerge rays of light to illumine the cosmic waters and in which also converge the rays sent back by those waters. In Theosophical writings, it is called the self-conscious individuality or the higher manas. From this point of view, you will see that the higher manas is the most important principle or the central pivot of the human constitution or the true soul. It is the thread which ought to be caught hold of by one who wants to know the truth and lift himself out of this conditioned existence. To this it may be objected that Adma represents the seventh principle of the Theosophical Septenary and that the Manas is far lower in the scale. But the plain answer is that the seventh principle is the ultimate state attainable by the self after crossing the ocean of conditioned existence or samsara. Some thoughts on the Gita, P. 26. 66 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E in its third aspect, the fire of matter. In their totality these seven lords form the essence of the cosmic lord, called in the occult books, Bohat.23. This is so in the same sense as the seven Chohans, 24 with their affiliated groups of pupils, form the essence or centers in the body of one of the heavenly men, one of the planetary logos. These seven again in their turn form the essence of the logos. Each of the seven lords of fire 25 are differentiated into numerous groups of fire entities, from the diva lords of a plane down to the little salamanders of the internal furnaces. We are not dealing with the fiery essences of the higher planes at this stage in our discussion. We will only enumerate somewhat briefly some of the better known groups, as contacted in the three worlds. 1. Physical Plane Salamanders, those little fire elementals who can be seen dancing in every plane, tending the fires of the hearth and the home, and of the factory. They are of the same group as the fire spirits who can be contacted deep in the fiery bowels of the planet. Fire spirits, latent in all focal points of heat, who are themselves the essence of warmth, and can be contacted. 24 Bohat, or electricity, is an entity. He is the primordial electric entity. He is will. He is love wisdom. He is active intelligence. Therefore he is God. S. D. I. 105. S. D. I. 136. S. D. I, 100,144,155. S, D, I, 136. S, D, I, 167. He is the sum total of the energy of the seven spirits, who are the sum total of the logos. S, D, I, 169. 25 Chohan Tibetan, a lord or master, a high adept, an initiate who has taken more initiations than the five major initiations which make Nana, master of the wisdom. 26 The Seven Brothers, C.S. D.I. 105. These seven are the seven differentiations of primordial electric energy. Plane. 
As used in occultism, the term denotes the range or extent of some state of consciousness or of the perceptive power of a particular set of senses or the action or a particular force, or the state of matter corresponding to any of the above. T-H-E-I-N-T-E-R-N-A-L-F-I-R-E-S 67. In the heat of the bodily frame, whether human or animal, and who are likewise the warmth terrestrial. The Agnichadans, a higher grade of fire spirit, who form a vortex of fire when viewed on a large scale, such as in volcanoes and large destructive burnings. They are closely allied to a still more important group of Devas, who form the fiery envelope of the sun. The pranic elementals, those minute fiery essences who have the ability to permeate the texture of the human body, of a tree, or of all that may be found in the human, vegetable and animal kingdoms, and who blend with the fires of the microcosmic systems. Certain of the Diva Kingdom who may be described as ensuing certain of the great light rays, and who are in themselves the essence of those rays. Other forms of such elemental lives and of Diva groups might be enumerated, but the above tabulation will suffice for our present purpose. 2. The Astro Plane the fiery essences of this plane are more difficult for us to comprehend, having not, as yet, the seeing eye upon that plane. They are in themselves the warmth and heat of the emotional body, and of the body of feeling. They are of a low order when upon the path of desire, and of a high order when upon the path of aspiration, for the elemental is then transmuted into the diva. Their grades and ranks are many, but their names matter not save in one instance. It may be of interest to know the appellation applied to the Devas of Fire whose part it is to tend the fires that will later destroy the causal body. We need to remember that it is the upspringing of the latent fire of matter and its merging with two other fires that causes destruction. These elementals and devas are called the Agnidrians, and in 68-A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E -E -E. Their totality are the fiery essences of Buddy, hence their lowest manifestation is on the sixth plane, the astral. Further information concerning these diva lives will be found further on in the treatise, where they are dealt with at some length. Section 1. Division B. T-H-E-P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-T-Y-R-A-Y-A-N-D-F-I-R-E-B-Y Friction. 1. 2. 3. The work of the three rays. 1. The Personality Ray 2. The Egoic Ray 3. The Monotic Ray The Personality Ray and the Permanent Atom The Personality Ray and Karma I. The W-O-R-K-O-F-T-H-E-T-H-R-E-R-A-Y-S W.E. here touch upon a matter of wide general interest yet which is with all very little comprehended. I refer to the subject of the permanent atoms.26 each body or form wherein spirit functions has, for its focal point on each plane, an atom composed of matter of the atomic subplane of each plane. This serves as a nucleus for the distribution of force, for the conservation of faculty, for the assimilation of experience, and for the preserva. 26 permanent atom, an appropriated point of atomic matter. A tiny center of force which forms the central factor and the attractive agency around which the sheets of the incarnating monad are built. These are strung like pearls upon the sutratma, or thread. 
Gray, a stream of force or an emanation. The solar logos, or the macrocosm.